another like unlucky color. Please Avoid. don't say green. Of course, green. green is very nice. <laughs> it's nice for you. I mean, it's the color of money, so it has to be lucky. And what's the right way to use chopsticks? I've always struggled with this my entire life. Like, is this the right way? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm an expert. <laughs> So, Tian Tian, I'm so happy to be doing this with you right here in Zira Lounge at downtown Dubai. We have a beautiful view behind us, the Burj Khalifa. So what are the practices to follow during a Chinese business meeting? For example, maybe let's like start from how people to sit. Yeah. So normally, maybe you will notice Chinese people like to sit in the round table. Right. I didn't know that. Oh, you but, didn't okay. know that? No. Instead of this square table, mm -hmm. we like the round table because people can sit next to each other. So are you ready to bring in the food? Wow, that would be lovely. So we've got black tiger prawns, mm -hmm. we've got smoked duck, and we've got cucumber salad. And what's the right way to use chopsticks? I've always struggled with this my entire life. Like, is this the right way? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. I'm an expert. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Should we dig in? Should we try the food? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm going to try the duck because it just looks absolutely delicious. So some little things about chopsticks is like if you finish your chopsticks, mm -hmm. we don't like to put it point to any other. For example, it's, it's rude. Oh, right. Okay. So, so where should in it front point? of me, there is someone. Mm -hmm. So it's also rude. So normally I put uh, to me, oh, to my side. Okay. That's good to know. And another thing is like normally because your chopsticks are like your fingers when you eat. Right, right, right. It's like your fingers. So for Chinese, a little different. We don't mm -hmm. like to point other with like this, like that. It's so, rude in, in Arabic culture as well. You know what else I I um, read online that it's actually in Chinese culture. If you finish all the food on your plate, mm -hmm. they will keep serving you food. Mm -hmm. And it's really funny because in Russian culture, it's the exact opposite. So it's actually rude to leave anything on your plates. Oh. Is that correct? Is that accurate? Yeah, because in Chinese culture, if you, if you finish your food, and then if the host doesn't serve you, yeah. means the host didn't care you, didn't ah. take no, too much notice for okay. you. And you just um, told me before we started the interview that Chinese people are big fans of red for yes. specifically for New Year. So yes. why is that? Why the red color specifically? Yeah, Chinese people are very love the red color especially for the new year. If you go to any place in China for new year, you will see all red color. Mm -hmm. Everywhere is red, full of red in the city. Why specifically red? Like what is the reason behind that? We just more prefer for them pull for the something lucky. We like, we prefer red color. Okay, so it, it represents luck yes. basically. It's okay. like for lucky, fortune. Let's say you and I are having a business meeting. Let's say, for example, I want to give you my business card. Is mm. there a specific way that I need to give you the business card? I read a little bit about that, but I'll let you tell us more. I guess Chinese people like to do something with two hands. Okay. For them to give you the card with two hands, to show the respect. For them okay. I will like stand. You have to stand. Yeah, okay. when I give to you, I will stand and then give to you a little boo. And I have to bow as Just well? Just a, a little bit. Okay. A little bit okay. bow. And if you too much, it would be Japanese. Is there like a specific way to serve tea? We have a long history of tea. So we have, instead of coffee, so tea is Chinese drink. So normally when people say thank you, when people serve you the tea, we yeah. do like uh, this. Oh, you just knock on the table. Mm -hmm. okay. You just do like this instead Twice? of saying anything. Yeah, two times. Two times. You can do okay. either this or this. this just these two this. fingers. Okay. You can do this. Yeah. Or this. Okay. Because when we drink tea, it's yeah. like a keep on serving, not just one time. Because uh -huh. the bowl is very small, as you say. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so it's like people keep on serving the tea. So yeah. people normally don't say talk it all to say thank you. Okay. We just do this, people understand. And what if you don't want tea anymore? Like if you don't want, just leave some on your in, cup. In the cup. What about, I know that numbers and colors um, are obviously a big part of the Chinese culture. Tell us a little bit about, you know, lucky numbers, unlucky numbers, lucky colors, unlucky colors. The most lucky number is number eight. Eight, okay. Yes. So people love number eight. When you buy a car, you need to choose your car number. So people love to have eight at the end. Number, if you can, okay. you have more eight means more fortune. What about unlucky numbers? Is there is, it, is 13 an unlucky number in, in Chinese culture? So for us, unlucky number is number four. Because the pronunciation with four, in yes. Chinese we pronounce as si. 
and then another word means dying, we pronounce as 死. It's ah. similar. Another like unlucky color. Please avoid. don't say green. Of don't course, green is very nice. <laughs> it's nice for you. I mean, it's the color of money, so it has to be lucky. You know? <laughs> White color. Why? Actually, now the culture starts to change a little bit. Until because we learn from Western culture as well. Yes. But before me, because when it's on the when people die, mm -hmm. so everything is white. So no matter what, if it's right, right or green or yellow, we cover with with white. So we have the fountain starting to play. I think behind ah. us, which is another reason why you guys really need to come and check this place out. The food is amazing. It smells so good. You have the fountain. You have the view. Um, and they have their special Chinese New Year menu. In celebration of Chinese New Year, we have also partnered with Eaton Institute to give you guys a discount code, 20%. The code is Chinese NY and it's valid until February the 22nd. You guys get a 20% discount on all group language courses, all Mandarin Chinese group language courses. If you want to learn Chinese, do check them out, Eaton Institute. And I'm just gonna say goodbye now because I'm starving, and I think we're gonna yeah. we're gonna eat. <laughs> we're sure. gonna dig in. <laughs> <laughs>